On May 29, 2020, the Starship SN4 exploded on the developing facility of SpaceX in Texas. Although the problem got identified and fixed on their following prototypes, we're wondering about their upcoming booster rocket. Will the BN3 explode like SN4? Well, we will find out in just a second, but before that, subscribe to Future File to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech. The Super Heavy is currently the most critical component in development for their fully reusable space launch vehicle, the Starship. It is powered by 29 state-of-the-art Raptor engines, which will soon be increased to 32 engines. SpaceX certainly has no easy task ahead of them to accomplish within its mission profiles and the highly precise nature of engineering involved. Work on the Super Heavy began in autumn of 2020, with the first prototype being completed in March 2021. According to CEO Elon Musk, this first prototype was not intended to fly, but rather serve as a case study for more significant improvement of further iterations. The current active prototypes are the BN2 and BN3, with the latter intended to launch the Starship SN20 spacecraft on its test flight. Currently awaiting launch approval by the United States Federation Aviation Administration, the Starship powered by the BN3 will circumnavigate three quarters of the world within 90 minutes. The journey will start from Boca Chica in Florida and end with the Starship splashing safely near the Hawaiian Islands. SpaceX has revealed very little publicity on the Starship SN20 and related plans. Hence, it is currently unclear if they will attempt to recover Super Heavy BN3 or reserve such plans for further iterations of the Super Heavy. They need to fully assemble and test the BN3 with the SN20 before attempting a full launch. The BN3's engine section has been completed according to reports with cutouts for all 28 Raptor engines. Its fuel manifold has also been completed, which will attach itself to the end of a transfer tube, which in turn will be used to route methane through the liquid oxygen tank to fuel the engines. However, making progress in work has been difficult at times. SpaceX has previously hoped for launch to begin as early as July 2021, but clearly that is now an impossibility. The targeted time frame now sits at no earlier than August. If the results gathered from the testing and examination of the BN2 prototype are satisfactory, work on the BN3 may continue at full pace. A separate team is working on the BN3 for now as it is currently stacked at the Boca Chica launch pad. The myriad of tests to be done include cryogenic testing where the BN3 will be subjected to extremely cold temperatures, pressure testing, and structural integrity examination. All these tests contribute towards laying to the rest of a key concern of Elon Musk and the engineering teams, preventing an explosion like that of the Starship SN4. In March of last year, the dramatic explosion of the Starship SN4 sent a real shock to SpaceX and the rest of the aerospace industry at large, even if Elon Musk appeared to be unfazed. On May 29, 2020, hours before the SN4 was to be launched into space, the spacecraft abruptly exploded. Elon Musk told Reuters that a minor disconnection test quickly became a big problem. The disconnection here is referring to a system that provides propellants for Starship's Raptor engines. This system needs to disconnect and reconnect to the Starship when needed as it allows the crew to maintain control of the spacecraft. Incorrect connection of the propellant system led to liquid methane being gushed out of a specific section of Starship. As methane is gaseous in normal conditions, a massive cloud was created. One spark was all it took to obliterate the SN4 completely. The quick disconnect system for propellant is quite complex as it has to simultaneously enable the ship to be fueled and controlled and permit in-orbit docking and refueling. Nevertheless, a small mishap was enough to cause the craft to burst into flames and explode. It has been an excruciating lesson for SpaceX and a costly one at that, delaying the completion of all subsequent Starship prototypes after the SN4. It can be reliably expected that SpaceX has gathered the necessary information to learn from their mistakes to apply on the Super Heavy BN3 and the SN20 as well. 
The current BN3 iteration, from a technical standpoint, is arguably just as complicated as the Starship itself, if not even more complicated, as it is a specialized launch vehicle. While we can think of a hypothetical BN3 explosion with the same cause of the SN4s, the reality is that aside from propel its systems leaking and sparking, there are literally hundreds of things that can go wrong for an explosion to be caused. We do not have much public data available to us on the BN3 or the SN20, so we have to use a different example to draw parallels with. This brings us to a second attempt to launch the N-1 rocket by the Soviet government on July 3rd, 1969. After climbing to an altitude of 100 meters in 10.5 seconds following liftoff, it began shredding parts from its tail section. The rocket tilted sideways and fell horizontally back onto the launch pad with a large and violent explosion that was visible from at least 70 kilometers away. Soviet aerospace scientists and officials were fortunate to find attacked flight recorder cassettes at the crash sites, which would later prove crucial in understanding the cause of the mishap. After days of analysis using the recorders, photos, and film recordings, the problem was identified. Similar to the issue that had plagued the SN4, the problem was the propellant supply system that supplied liquid oxygen to the rocket's engines. This system was supposed to finish its task before the rocket left the launch pad, but it continued doing so afterward. The pressure difference caused a small explosion in engine number 8 while the other engines kept working. An onboard diagnostic system then shut all the engines off except the 18th engine, which continued providing thrust that tilted the rocket and entered freefall. The force of the blast caused propellant lines to other engines to be severed one by one, leading to the diagnostic system shutting those engines down. Still, investigators were unable to definitively determine what caused the propellant lines for engine number 8 to be snapped. Some of them insisted on the introduction of a foreign object, while others insisted that the pump itself failed on its own. Fortunately, no lives were lost in this disaster. The fire explosion was certainly frightening to all those who witnessed it. The launch pad was completely destroyed and it had to be rebuilt over a long period of time. It would take at least a year to return to regular functionality to the launch pad and get further rocket launches rolling. As mentioned before, the stakes are very high for SpaceX with their BN3 launch, as it is the initial booster stage that requires the most thrust force. It is the stage with the greatest number of engines. The higher the number of rockets, the higher number of things that can potentially go wrong. Regardless of exactly how such an explosion would occur, what is certain is that any explosion within the fuel tanks or the engines would result in the biggest explosion suffered by any SpaceX spacecraft ever. An immensely large amount of fuel would be ignited and spontaneously exploded. Combined with all 28 engines exploding one by one, a conflagration of unmatched proportion will be the result. SpaceX has built crucial structures using rebar reinforced concrete to advert such a possibility, reducing the chances of dangerous sparks. However, industry experts have stated that it is doubtful that the concrete covering would do much in terms of stopping dangerous chain reactions and have asserted that nothing will stop a foreign object from entering and causing ruptures. Another possibility would be a backfire event similar to the one that occurred during the testing of the Starship SN11. An emergency shutdown was issued for the SN11 due to a fuel flow backfire that went back up the fuel lines causing liquid methane to spray all over the internals. According to SpaceX terminology, the timely emergency shutdown prevented any possibility of a spark causing another costly explosion for SpaceX or rapid unplanned disassembly. The absolute worst case scenario is a malfunctioning flight termination system with broken sensors which would cause hard components to snap off and puncture the fuel tank. Such an event would result in a total and sudden explosion of the entire spacecraft, resulting in the launch pad being showered in burning hot debris. As stated previously, not much information on the mechanical aspects of the BN3 are available for public dissertation. We have to rely on speculation from limited data sources and look to similar incidences in the past. It is not entirely unreasonable to think of a scenario in which the BN3 explodes as rocket science is similar to the magic in fiction, hard to control and maintain. Conversely, it is also a fact that nothing in this field is certain until the ultimate moment of truth. So, what do you think? Do you think the BN3 rocket booster will explode? Share your thoughts in the comments section.
If you like this video, you may also enjoy the next video on Starship's new floating launch pad that is shown in the end screen. See you there.